Hi, this is Rain and Thunder, and we are back for more of my uh, Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. We are on part 12 currently now, and since it has been a while, I'm going to give you a little recap of my team. Not that. Uh, okay. We have Ka, the Arbuck. We have, um, we have our Pokemon Thor. We have, ah, good wrong thing. We have, uh, Falplume. We have our starter, Lego, who is slowly getting to the point where we can get a Charizard. We have our second Oddish, who I may just use for a HM slave. And we have Sleepy, our Drowsy. So this is currently where we are standing now, and I believe it's time we continue onwards, up through, uh, up through the Dark Cave, and onwards to the, um, Haunted Tower place thingy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I've been focusing on a bunch of other games, I forget. <laughs> But let's see who we should um, work on now. Um, let's switch Sleepy up here. Because now that our Arbuck has pretty much done what we needed him to do, we've got. If you recall from before, our last badge we recently obtained was the Thunder Badge, and our next badge we need now is Erica's Badge, but that is going to take some time to get. And for that we need to continue forwards and upwards. So back on through the path to Cerulean City again. And hopefully, when we get through here, we can catch us some new Pokemon. And hopefully not lose too many more teammates. Let's see here, who was our cut person? I believe we had given the cut technique to our extra oddish repeat. Yep, there we go. And now to fight more battles. You have Pokemon with you, you're mine. And she has four Pokemon. Hopefully we should be okay as far as this goes. Level 18, level... Okay, we're both at level 18. And hopefully, I, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, Confusion is super effective against Oddish. And we do need to get our Drowsy up a few levels anyway. I'm actually not disappointed with getting a Drowsy. I mean, it's not too terrible. Unless you know you're talking competitively, but I don't competitive battle Pokemon anyway. And we couldn't exactly do too much competitively back then with uh, Pokemon Red and Blue anyway. Okay, let's keep out Sleepy. 
and continue on with the confusions. Oh, good. It didn't work. Okay, one more bell sprout that we should be able to take out without too much effort. Ooh, and it poisoned us. That isn't really what I wanted right now, because I don't want to have to spend the whole playthrough running back and forth to the Pokemon Center again. Although we did get level 19. You deceived me. No, you deceived yourself by challenging us. I wonder if I have anything quickly that I can use to take care of the poison, or if I'm actually really going to have to... Okay, we got it. We've, we have antidotes. We remembered from our last mistake of not having any antidotes on hand. We're not going to make that same mistake again. What's this? TM30. What is... What is TM30? Oh, we have rare candy. Oh, it's just teleport. No. I mean, teleport's useful in a pinch if you don't want to have to... If you're a long ways out and you don't want to have to run all the way to the Pokemon Center to heal, but you still have to run back. Wahahaha. Great. I was bored, eh? Well, good for you that we are here. Hiker sent out a chop. Okay, that works. Psychic first fighting. And we confused it. Now it'd be nice if it would... Uh, yeah, go ahead, take, take yourself out. That helps. Um, yes, we'll go ahead and switch right here for Foul Plume. And we are going to use Absorb, because that's currently the only Grass-type move that we currently have in our arsenal. Yeah, and Bind is still as annoying as ever. Because, like I said before, unlike in later games, this can continuously keep hitting you instead of letting you at least get out a few attacks in between. But luckily, his Bind missed that time. And we were able to fully heal ourselves. Okay, we won. I want, to, I want to try to record, start recording back a little bit more videos now that I'm actually starting to feel better. I'm on a, um, a new type of medication. Since my doctor seems like I have a uh, problems with, with acid reflux, and instead of my asthma keeping me coughing all the time, she thinks it's a combination of my asthma and acid reflux. So, since it seems to be do making me feel a little bit better, I think I can get by with a few more videos recorded every now and then. Who's that walking with those good-looking Pokémon? Well, thanks for, you know, the compliment. And he sends out a Growlithe. And as our, as per our name, let's use a Hypnosis attack on Growlithe. Followed by Confusion. Oh, how did you miss? It's asleep in front of you, it's not even moving. How do you miss against an immobile Pokémon? Luckily, it stayed asleep the entire time. 
because I really don't want to have to deal with burns. Um, should we switch Pokemon? I don't think we even have a water type. Um, no. Let's just keep Sleepy out. Confusion? Okay, this should only take a few more confusions to knock out uh, the Charmander. Yeah, I probably actually should have put it to sleep now that I think about it. Since it got out of burn against us and we don't currently have burn heal. And level 20. Out like a light. So, it looks like we are going to be running to the Pokemon Center after this battle because we can't sneak past this guy. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. And he comes out with a drill. Um, let's start up with maybe a hypnosis. See if we can, um, avoid. Okay, that's not good. We're gonna need to use probably a potion and then try to put the sink sleep again. Because we have no burn heals. Okay, potion up. then try to get this thing knocked out, or passed out, or whatever. Hypnosis again. Why does it keep missing on Beedrill? Okay, we finally got off the of hypnosis against speed drill. Confusion. Let's hurry up and take this giant bee out. If I'd known it was gonna take it out in one hit, I would have wouldn't have worried about the sleep. Okay, we're just going all out with confusion this time. Luckily, it's attack missed. And we hit it with a confusion. Hopefully, this should be. Yeah, this should definitely be it to finish it off, unless it finishes us off first. And I am definitely not about having all of my Pokemon die. We got several levels here back to back. Nice. What a total waste of time. For you, maybe, not me. I have to collect more than bugs to get stronger. Okay. And sorry, but we're definitely going to have to head to the, uh, to the Pokemon Center because we do not have burn heals. And I can't just leave my Pokemon in the burn status. I wonder if they have any at the Pokemon's, uh, Pokemon here to sell me. Probably not yet. I don't think Burn Heals become available yet. I don't quite remember, but I'm gonna go check anyway. Actually, any available burn heals here? Bye. Do you have burn heals? Yes, you do. We'll get five of those. Ah, right. Wait, maybe we have something we can sell. You. So apparently, we have too many items. Uh, what do we want to get rid of?
I'll just go ahead and get rid of TM30 because I don't really need that. I'll figure out some more stuff with the other things later on. But first, I would like to buy five burn heals. And then I guess while I'm here, because I forgot about this, I should go ahead and take the, uh, the bike voucher here to the, uh, Grass and Caves Handled Easily Bike Shop. Yeah, to the bike shop and exchange our bike, our bike voucher for a shiny new, uh, bicycle. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. I just gave you the bike voucher. How do I not have room for this? I mean, if we're exchanging the bike voucher for a bike, he should have the bike voucher and my bike should be taking the place of where the bike voucher was. But, I guess we're gonna have to store some stuff. I like the, uh, the newer games because we have so much more room to carry stuff, like items and things, than we do here. I always keep forgetting how restrictive um, the older games and stuff were as far as it comes to, you know, item storage and stuff. So I'll just store stuff that we don't really immediately need. We definitely don't need the SS ticket anymore. I don't know why that's even still in our inventory. Um, let's see what else should we get rid of get rid of a few more TMs and stuff in here in storage. Okay, that ought to be good for right now. If we end up needing some more room later on, we can do that um, when we get to the next town, but for now, let's actually go get our bike. That was my bad for thinking that, uh, once I gave him the bike voucher, it would clear up an empty space. Here you go. Exchange the bike voucher for a bicycle. Thank you and goodbye. Okay, there. Now we can head back and own to the cave that will take us to Lavender Town. Another thing that I have actually come to appreciate in the newer games is that you don't have to actually go through the whole menu. Click personally on the Pokemon and click cut. All you have to do is click the tree to cut itself. It's like a couple of extra steps removed that really aren't necessary, in my opinion anyway. And it just makes everything just so much more smoother. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Okay, more bug types. We probably should start working again on our Charmeleon at some point, because I would definitely like a Charizard. rather slow. Also, I've read something about Venonat a while back. That Venonat was um, originally supposed to be what evolved into Metapod and then Butterfree, I think, if I remember reading correctly. And that Caterpie was actually supposed to evolve into Venomoth. 
I'm not sure if that's some wild rumor or if that's actually really true or not, but I remember reading that a while back somewhere. So if you guys know for a fact it's true, let me know. That was just some wild off rumor that I remember reading, like, I think it was like a few years back. Taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender. Yeah, he's got four Pokemon. A hey, Radita. I think I'm gonna get Sleepy to level 22, then I'll go back to leveling up our Charmeleon. Def Ooh. That's not good. Um, and we don't have a flying type. So the only thing I can really think to do now is heal and cross my fingers. Because, um, Pokemon may be getting ready to go down. I don't know how much damage this is gonna do. Okay, not nearly as bad as I thought. And he goes for the dig attack again. So we'll do another quick heal. Hopefully he will stop using dig against us. Fusion? Okay. This time he only used growl. And gets us to level 22. Okay, I think, like I said, we're going to go back to our Charmeleon Lego for a bit. I'd like to get him to at least level 30 or so. Okay, luckily we took out the Ekans with no poison. Sandshrew, no, we are not going to change Pokemon. Luckily our Ember does a pretty good amount of damage to Pokemon now. Um, looks like we're still gonna have a ways before our last few little Pokemon we have so far evolve. These none of these are really probably going to be my permanent team yet. I mean, I've got a few Pokemon on my team so far that I'm going to I, I'm planning on keeping, but as of right now, nothing is really set in stone. Ha 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 ha! Aren't you a little toughy? And it's another hiker. It's a Geodude. Um, seven levels over him. So let's see if maybe we can get in some good hits against this with maybe Seismic Toss. Okay, it looks like Seismic Toss will only take two hits to take this out. Although if he pulls out another rock Pokemon, I think I'm going to switch to my grass. Okay, it's a fighting type, so we should hopefully be good for right now. Luckily his attack missed. Let's try a few embers to finish him off. Or just one was a critical hit. Uh, yes, we're going to switch Pokemon to Foul Plume. And 
and absorb. Okay. Probably do a little bit of healing right here. Yep, definitely some healing on Lego. Um, uh, we'll just save him for the Pokemon Center up ahead. Don't you dare condescend me. Okay, I did. I literally just walked past you. I didn't say a word to you. Uh, junior trainer. She's only got one Pokemon, which is a Meowth. Seismic Toss. Hopefully one more Seismic Toss should finish this. Ooh, not quite. Uh, Ember. Well, at least that gets us to level 28. Okay, now we can head to the Pokemon Center. Heal up a little bit, and then make our way towards Rock Tunnel. I was originally thinking about not using Flash to get to Rock Tunnel. To get through Rock Tunnel, I mean. But I'm going to see if our little HM slave, our second Oddish, is even capable of learning Flash. I can't even remember if we even have Flash on us. Well, I think we do. I yeah, I can't remember if we even have Flash on us or not. But I guess I will try and see what happens. Okay, that was cut. Flash. Okay. Um, either I stored Flash in the PC, or I just simply forgot where to pick it up. But either way, I should be able to get through Rock Tunnel just fine without Flash. Um, draw item. TM, TM, TM. TM, okay. Now we don't have Flash. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe just stopping here and going to go pick up Flash. Sold a useless nugget, nugget for 5,000 Poke. Good for you. Yeah. I think I'll just go ahead and stop right now. I'll stop right here for now, guys. See about where I can go pick up Flash at. And I'll be back for the next video. Hopefully with Flash in my arsenal. If it is where I vaguely remember it being at. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest to come. Thanks, guys. See you later.